Do you like the expanding collection of flags in the background? I felt that it was... I, I really like the aesthetic of the English flag there. Sorry, I'm looking at my camera so I can see it. Um, I really like the aesthetic of the English flag. I just think it looks just just nice. Just the, the way that the the light emphasizes the the differences in tone on the table as it drops off. I think it looks really good. And I thought the Gibraltarian one was a little bit bland in the background. But I noticed that if I put the Union flag like half across in the way it cuts off there, with the Gibraltarian one showing behind, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Uh, it, it it breaks up the background a bit. I think it looks really nice. And it shows I'm a unionist, obviously. So, <laughs> my wonderful collection of flags aside, I found this really interesting. Journalist explains why Danny Baker's tweet about the royal baby was a blatant example of racism. So if you didn't know, there's a, a, a BBC radio presenter called Danny Baker. I don't think he's expressly political. I think he's more of a comedian, but who knows. Um, he, uh, I, I don't listen to his show, obviously. He, he posted a joke about Meghan Markle having a baby with Prince Harry, and it was in the form... I don't even know if they're going to show it in this, in this article. I haven't actually read the article. I just watched the video. But we'll go through the article in a second. Um, with the two royals and a baby and a, a small chimp that was dressed up. And everyone's like, right, well, that's blatant racism. And I don't think that's how it's meant. He comes from a previous generation that... I think would view it through a class lens. And I do think that his intention is like that because I mean, she's half black and the baby would be quarter black. So it's going to look pretty white. Um, I don't think that he was thinking of that really. I think he was actually thinking rich people bad basically, but there, this is what uh, this I say. So this is a British journalist called Af Afua Hirsch who's earned praise after she spoke out on Sky News, like a heroic saviour of victims that she is, and condemned the racist joke. Bravo! Oh, brilliant! You condemned a joke! You're so fucking virtuous! Who cares, man? That's not... You, you earn praise after condemning a joke that she has decided is racist, but probably wasn't. Like, an objectively racist joke. It wasn't simply racist intent, an objectively racist one. My fucking God. Right? So, Danny Baker's tempted to apologise. He's been fired. You know, he's been treated as a social prior. Now they're all gathering around his corpse to basically pluck at it like vultures and prize the virtue out of him and swallow it and make themselves more virtuous in return. Like... <laughs> like this, this, this is watch. This is How watch. is he the victim in the scenario? This is... Because he fucking lost everything. He lost everything. That's how he's the victim in this. He tells one joke on Twitter, boom, social standing gone, job gone, fucking reputation destroyed. Jesus Christ, it was a fucking joke. He wasn't running up to her in the street and screaming the N-word in her face or something, but that's how you're acting, this kind of level of outrage? A pregnant woman who had to arrange new levels of protection because of the amount of racist abuse she was receiving, which escalated. When Bullshit, she's a member of the royal fucking family, man. You wouldn't get within a hundred meters of her. What are you fucking talking about? Like you are, <laughs> dude. She she has security paid for. She doesn't pay for her own fucking security. And she announced she was pregnant. She's always had racist abuse. Oh, when... she's always been the victim. She announced this princess is a fucking victim. We do. <clears throat> do you understand what privileges are? <laughs> like. Danny Baker's just a, a radio host, or was. She is a princess of a Hollywood media mogul, like um some guy who's like high up in behind the scenes stuff. I can't remember exactly what he did now. I should have looked up for the video, but I looked up a while ago. She's part of the sort of like Hollywood royalty, and this is you know now she's actual royalty. Her pregnancy it multiplied because there is so much. I mean, I'm looking at you, and I'm not thinking working class. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking privileged. I'm not even listening to what you're saying now because it just seems like gibberish, privileged gibberish that's coming out. I don't mean to sound dismissive, but what point are you trying to make? Toxic racism in our society. There we go. That's it. Oh, everyone's racist to me. Maybe, maybe it's because they don't like you for other reasons. You know, just because, I mean, you're black or these other people are black. Maybe they have other reasons. Maybe you seem really condescending and really, really, really quick to call people racist. That's not Danny Baker's fault. That's yes. not Danny Baker's fault, but... Oh, okay, now we're blaming him for things that aren't Danny Baker's fault. 
That's the thing. She's just accepted. It's not Danny Baker's fucking fault that these things exist. And yet, somehow, he is not the victim of having everything stripped away from him. What is Danny Baker's fault is that he did something which was so offensive that when I... So fucking what? <laughs> That's it. You found it offensive. A lot of people didn't. Who cares? But, privileged entitled woman syndrome... You think what well, I am entitled to having my fence aired, and somehow I can get on the BBC because I'm a fucking journalist and I get praised for this. No wonder you think you're entitled to it. I first saw it, I actually thought it was a prank. I just thought. <laughs> what do you mean you thought it was a prank? It was a fucking joke. It was a joke. He wasn't literally calling anyone a monkey or anything. Like, what's wrong with you? Nobody, nobody who the BBC gives a platform. She could be stupid. Again, it's all about control. It's about, oh no, you've got the platform. This is about control. This is about me imposing my standards on you. Fuck your standards. We don't have to live by your standards. Why should we? Good enough to say this and not intend it to be racist because it is one of, and we could talk about. <laughs> he obviously didn't. Well, I know. In fact, I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give this BBC presenter the benefit of the doubt and suggest that maybe he wasn't a giant racist for like the 30 years before he, for, where he worked for the BBC or however long it is. He's been there for ages, I'm sure, right? I, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and suggest that maybe this was just a mistake that he didn't really think about it very hard or something like that. He didn't consider your opinion on this. Unintended racism or microaggressions. This Unintended is not racism. Unintended racism. You, racism is all about intent. You can't have unintended racism. You, like, <clears throat> again, the idea of racism is that you believe one race is superior to another and you think that society should reflect that, right? That's not unintended, that you can't have unintended racism because racism is about your intent. Jesus Christ. This is the most blatant, clear cut example of racism. Objective racism. It's generations of people. You, it's in your head. It's not in everyone else's. It's you that thinks this. People have recognized this as an overtly racist trope. Within people's lifetimes, black people were still oh. being compared. Oh. To and is Danny, Danny Baker does probably didn't think about that. Like fucking hell, dude. Monkeys and dehumanized. <laughs> really? By, by who? By who is doing this? You're the one perpetuating that. Sacking is right. So I'm not interested in him. I'm not interested in him or what happens to him. By the way, he's already... Just death to him. Death to Danny Baker. He's already done a show which was more successful than his previous shows since he's been sacked. Which you must be really bitter about. So if you're worried about his career, then I suspect... No, one's worried. no they're worried that it's going to happen to them fucking next. He's getting support from the people who like him because it looks like he's being ill-treated. And you seem bitter about the fact that there are people on his side of the argument. Like, I've never watched Danny Baker's show. I don't give a damn about Danny Baker. But when I see this kind of like... It really is like cry bullying. Like, who's the victim? Who's been hurt? How has Meghan Markle been hurt? No one's been hurt. The only person who's the victim of a racist joke is the person who tells it. That's it. And that's the joke itself. It's meant to be a, a self-deprecating kind of joke. My God, what is wrong with you people? I'm not interested in him. Talking. I'm worried about the millions of black people who regularly... Oh, I, I'm, I'm the saviour of millions of black people. Me, the middle class person. I'm saving them. ...live with this kind of abuse and then have to be in spaces like this where everybody... Imagine thinking that this was a racist country. Get off fucking Twitter. Just get off Twitter. Yeah, there are people on Twitter who'll say mean things to you. They come from all over the world. There are the worldwide coalitions of people who dedicate their time to being racist to you on the internet. You know that, right? Like, just dicks who will say things that just are out there to offend you. Just, <laughs> what, what can you do about it? ...denies it's a problem. That is something that I could not feel more strongly about. And I'm, I'm living it right now in this conversation. Oh, you're the victim now. Yeah, now the hallowed victimhood is with you. I'm just feeling that everyone's a racist. Everyone just hates me. And it's not because I'm a giant c 